All right, how we doing? The top of the morning, okay? Probably out of east is the afternoon. Hope everybody's had a or is having a good productive day today. Make sure that you subscribe, like, comment, share some of these videos with your uh, with your friends, and thank you for your time. So I thought I'd take a minute here. Didn't feel like really talking about this last night. I try to do these videos at night, and I want to try to download them at home here because my internet works a lot faster at home. Okay, so let's get right into here, <clears throat> do another series of The Fall of P. Diddy, all right? And I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this video because again, as much as I think that there's some type of truth to it, it's alleged about one, it's up one case that might fall through, okay? But the main touchstone of this video is they want names. When I say they, the government, the FBI, they want names. So you have this judge, he's Judge Furman, okay, that is going to be one of the judges on this case, all right? I know there's at least two judges out there. I didn't really uh, research that too much, all right? And something like a 50-page, 50 50, 55-page document of lawsuits, okay? Five new ones that came down, including one that was a child, okay? And speaking of which, make sure... Please, I would encourage you, take a look at what the one that I've done, I believe yesterday, entitled, Woman Exposes Celebrities at D D Party When She Was a Child and She Was Going to These par uh, Parties. She was being pretty much, uh, how can I say, uh, ex uh, exploited. Okay, I only got two views, so it'd be nice if y'all can take about 12 minutes of your time and look at that video. Uh, just so you know, I got this from uh, Ticket TV. Uh, I think there's another one called Docs Daily, okay, that talk about, uh, it's another resource too. I'll, I'll get around to do that that I've been looking at about this, uh, about these cases. And you can also read the notes yourself because once something goes to court or goes up to, uh, to court, it goes public. So I'm not really going to get too much into, but it was five lawsuits, three men and two women. Okay. And they had these tick marks for every sentence that occurred in every incident. So, when you look at this this document, okay, or when you uh, go through podcasts and all that, all right, that these details are very meticulous. I remember four out of five out of the five lawsuits. One of them was a guy that was a trainer that was in, uh, P. Diddy was impressed uh, of his work, and he got invited to one of his parties, okay, where. Uh, when he was invited to the party, he had to sign a non-disclosure agreement, okay, uh, give up his cell phone, but he didn't get a copy of it, and he was given a drink right after that, all right, from a, a, a greeter. Next thing you know, all right, he was feeling woozy, and I think that he didn't have control of his body. He was brought to a separate room, okay where P. Diddy was, where P. Diddy attacked him and he did the R word, okay? Grape, okay? And where he had to, the, the the plaintiff, all right? You know, he had to get on his knees and do the SMB word, okay? To do that word. And right after that, 
there was a, a pro ball player, okay, that undisclosed name, all right, that did this thing on him. Okay, so that's one. Uh, there was another girl that was, another, no, a guy at a Ciroc party, okay, uh, which the, the brand that P, uh, P. Diddy owns, okay, and oh, and just so you'll know, uh, they have footage of some of this stuff, some video footage of this. The uh, case that I just explained, it was a picture from an eyewitness or whatever that left had a picture of the administrator of this, you know, whatever GHB was putting in this baby oil or these drinks, okay? Now, there was actually footage of the next incident that I just started saying about uh, the guy that got invited for Ciroc, uh, at a Ciroc party, okay? He was a producer, wanted to go to the party. He was looking forward to it so he could promote his business, businesses with, you know, rub shoulders and do networking and all that. Plus he got to, you know, he would get to meet Diddy, okay? Where he was also violated, all right? And there's supposed to be actually actual footage of this man being violated, okay, by Diddy and, a, and another a professional athlete, okay? They didn't say, all right? So then there was, uh, let's see here, two women. All right. One was back in 2004 where uh, he was trying to recruit uh, female talent for the group. Uh, I believe it's Danny D. Kane. All right. Where he got he invited the young lady uh, that he discovered at the talent show to a, a party. And, you know, that and she had a witness. OK. And they were escort her out of the main area where they had the party to Diddy's room, okay, where uh, it's alleged that they were forced to have drinks and, you know, get on their knees and, you know, do, do what they do, you know, unfortunately, and so forth, okay, and he attacked the, the girl that he wanted to attack. The friend had, had begged him to be released and they, they were released okay and it was just you know brought up in this lawsuit uh, there was another incident where there was a 19 year old college student okay a 19 year old college student and I believe it was uh, SUNY New York up in Brooklyn alright that got invited to uh, a party okay was looking forward to meeting Diddy uh, 2022 okay the other incidents that I brought, the first two was also in 2022, where uh, she got into, invited to a party and she was assaulted, okay? She was also assaulted at a party, brought back into a room where, you know, she probably thought that she was going to probably meet people and, you know, maybe get a shot and get in a record deal and all that, and she was assaulted, Okay. And the last incident was actually out here in Vegas where I live, where a guy got invited to a party, okay? And he named names of several uh, celebrities. Uh, one of the names were Mary J. Blige, uh, Little Kim, okay? Uh, I do remember those two names. And there were several others that he named, okay, where uh, he went, had a good time, and, you know, Pete Diddy had said, hey, you like the party, you enjoying yourself, and he got invited to a room where they were, he thought that they were going to talk business, and he took advantage of him as well, okay? You know, just treating these, these people like pieces of meat, okay? You know, I want to finish by saying this. The 19-year-old, okay? What if that was your daughter? You know, and she came and told you something like that. You know, although you may feel as though from the outside these are allegations. You know, what would you wouldn't you want something done about it? Wouldn't you want to know the name or the names, okay, who was involved in it? 
Now I'm saying that this guy, this Judge Furman guy, he wants the names of these other people that you know that 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 are not named. And it's my understanding that these people had quickly set, did settlements. Many of them has. So it tells you right there they did something. Okay. I know for sure, I believe that case with that witness, that's going to stick. Do I believe all of them is true? Yes, I do believe it. But proving it is another thing. But for sure, that that case with, with that witness, because all they need is one witness. Okay, so when all this stuff is brought forth in May, and the FBI has included these names of people that they saw on these tapes, okay? Which they found over 200 tapes. Some of them are out on the dark web right now, okay? A lot of people, uh, careers are gonna be over. They may not get locked up, okay? But a lot of these people are gonna be, have to be testified or whatever, and they're gonna be exposed, okay? They're going to these parties and doing these, you know, these, uh, how can I say, lewd acts. It's over for them. And I think that's why everybody's scattering like roaches or leaving the country or whatever. Well, what save you? Okay? The judge, they want names, and the FBI has put names, documented names in the findings. Okay? So over the next eight months or so, they're going to go through whatever they find with a fine tooth comb. Okay? So stay tuned for the next video. I uh, hope you thank you for your time. Cash out dollar sign Winston Spidey if you want to donate.